given vector u in component form, we're asked to find the magnitude, which is the length of the vector, as well as the direction, where the direction is the angle in which the vector points, measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, and notice how we're told to give the angle theta in the interval from zero to two pi radians. Let's begin by sketching the vector in a standard position, which means the initial point is at the origin. From here, because the x component is negative five, we move left five units. Because the y component is positive four, we move up four units. This is the location of the terminal point of vector u in standard position. Notice by sketching the x and y components on the coordinate plane, we now have a right triangle that we can use to determine the magnitude of the vector, which again is the length of the vector. Notice how this is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. We indicate magnitude using either single or double vertical bars. I will use double vertical bars. And the angle theta is the angle measured from the positive x-axis to the vector, which is this angle here called the direction of the vector. Because the magnitude of the vector is the length of the hypotenuse, using the Pythagorean theorem, the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. And then using the reference triangle for the angle theta, tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, or tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Solving for theta, we have theta equals arctangent of y divided by x. We need to be careful though when determining the angle theta. Notice our angle is in the second quadrant, and the output or range of arctangent is the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So we'll have to do some work to find our angle theta. Let's first determine the magnitude, where the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, which in our case is the square root of the quantity, the square of negative five plus the square of four. This gives us the square root of 25 plus 16. 25 plus 16 is 41, giving us the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of 41. Now 41 is prime, so this does not simplify, but if it did simplify, we should simplify it. And now let's determine the direction of vector u, which is angle theta. Theta is equal to arctangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, or y divided by x, which gives us four divided by negative five, or negative four fifths. And now we go to the calculator. Let's verify we are in radian mode. So we press mode, radian is highlighted, so we go back to the home screen, and enter second tangent for arc tangent or inverse tangent, negative four divided by five, close parenthesis, and enter. To three decimal places, we have approximately negative 0.675 radians. This is not the angle we are looking for. This angle is in quadrant four. We're looking for the angle in quadrant two. But let's go ahead and write this down. The angle we found is this negative angle here in the fourth quadrant that has the same tangent function value as our angle theta. So because it has the same tangent function value, we know the reference angle of our angle in the second quadrant, this angle here must be 0 0.675 radians. Which means to find our angle theta, we can take pi radians and subtract 0 0.675 radians. Or if we wanted to, we could just add pi radians to negative 0 0.675 radians. The result would be the same. So going back to the calculator, to have a more accurate angle theta, we could add pi radians to this previous answer by pressing plus and then pi, enter. To three decimal places, we have 2.467 radians. This is more accurate than if we did the calculation shown here on the screen of negative 0 0.675 plus pi. In this case, to three decimal places, we do get the same angle of 2.467 radians, even though the previous value here has more accuracy. The direction of vector u is approximately 2.467 radians, 
which again is this red angle here. So it is important to make sure we do give the correct angle theta for the direction of the angle in the given interval. I hope you found this helpful.